these are the bricks that we've made so far and it's time to continue with this so far we've got the tiles and we've got some chipping on there and we are going to do some more of this kind of stuff so let's do this let's grab the holes and pull them up there and we're going to do some damage i might do it down here but we'll start up here i'm right, going to press the space bar and i'm going to add a purlin noise and i'll set the scale around 12 so we get some bigger noise here and uh, I want these to be darker splotches so I'm going to drag out and add a levels and I'm just going to squeeze these into the middle like that all right so we're going to get some dark splotches that we're going to need uh, let's add a grunge map now spacebar grunge map 4 so there's the grunge map and it's got some nice you know things that we could use for damage but i also want to add a level to that and i'm going to click this button here which is the inverse button and i want to drag this down and we want it nice and black okay but those are a little bit sharp so i'm going to add a bevel to that and we'll set the bevel at about 0.2 so we have this all right um i'm going to want to blend those together so i'll drag out and create a blend put them together and switch this to add linear dodge so we have these kind of chunks that we can that we can use let's try one more let's do a clouds let's see clouds one or clouds two we can go with clouds one for general grit let's blur this a bit with a blur high quality grayscale i'll leave the quality like that but we'll just bring the intensity quite far down so it's just not quite as sharp and that's really all we need so we're going to take another blend out here and i'm going to put these together and let's try this on multiply so now you get those other dots in there I'll, I'll reduce the opacity you can see them there so we get a get a, a nice little blend of of this stuff and that essentially is going to be our damage we're just going to put that over the top so let me grab that and hit the spacebar and frame change that here and we'll call this damage damage or grunge or whatever and let's mix that in over here let's grab this stuff and pull it down and so maybe i will take all of this and pull it down here all right so i'm going to select that and press the space bar and add a blend and i'm going to take this one and pull it into the top so we have that let's try a multiply and reduce the opacity a little bit and we have some grunge on there let's play with the opacities Okay. you can go back at any time and adjust adjust these values if I play with these levels let's see if we can detect anything changing you can see a little bit see these little notches that's from these big big pieces We can adjust the balance of this and the contrast and you can see subtle subtle effects happening there
see without without the blur bringing the blur up a little bit just like this let's switch over to another shape pull back and this is the effect that we get so it's starting to look a little bit more like stylized bricks and we still have to do the cracks but let's come on over here let's grab this color stuff and move it down let's come out of this normal and add a curvature smooth let's make sure that this is set on OpenGL so see the nice effects that we start to get with this I'm going to get rid of this one anyhow and I'm going to pull out and do a gradient map I'm going to open the gradient click here so I've got two keys on here and I'm just going to play with the color a little bit and drop another key down here to get this sort of blue color and drag this down So I want a kind of bluish gray. And here's what we have for our bricks. Or perhaps you would prefer an actual gray. But using that curvature smooth really brings out some of those details. If we want, we can smooth out the bricks a little bit. Let's see where we would want to do that. Let's try one in here, a blur high quality grayscale here. Let's bring the quality up and see how smooth they've gotten. And just lower this so it's just barely there. smooths out those jagged edges and I do like the blue version of this or ever even just ever so slightly blue all right this is what it looks like as a wall so the last thing we need to do then, we've done the damage and we've done uh, a little bit of coloration, um, is to do uh, the cracks and we'll do that next time.